All right then, gamers. Let's talk about this. Yes, in a hilarious twist of classic Guild Wars 2 marketing, Guild Wars 3 has been randomly dropped in an NCSoft shareholder meeting. This is not a joke. It is amusingly close to April 1st, but it's not an April Fool's joke. It is just a... A Guild Wars 2 classic. It really is. You know, we've had the taxi cab commercial. We've had the Our Time Is Now commercial. We've had all of the unhinged marketing. But this one has got to take the cake. Because, yeah, let's just cut to the chase here. Let's go ahead and cut to this. ArenaNet has a meaningful IP called Guild Wars. And after Guild Wars 2, they are currently working on Guild Wars 3. Yes. Guild Wars 3, which is something that I never thought would happen, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Because of, well, we'll get into that in a moment or why I didn't think it was going to happen. But, yep. It's Guild Wars 3 time. It's actually confirmed in development. Now, to be clear here, let's be sensible. This doesn't mean that the game will actually release. It just means... It's being worked on, right? Like, the game is actually in development. We know that ArenaNet have been picking up some devs for Unreal. There's been some pre-production on a game that's within an existing IP. Now, I was definitely speculating that was going to be a standalone game, like either a single player or a co-op experience or something like that. But no, turns out that was probably Guild Wars 3, I guess. So it is what it is. Um, and what a way to announce it. I would absolutely love to be a fly in the wall uh, at ArenaNet right now. The fires are probably there. A lot of phone calls going on. Because obviously, probably not the way they would have wanted to announce this. But this is the world in which we are currently living. And of course, the media's all over it. Here we are, massively overpowered. The internet is ablaze. The subreddit is all over the over all over the place. It's crazy stuff. But anyway, Guild Wars Three. So what's going on, and what does it mean for us? Well, um, what it does mean is that uh, Guild Wars Two is going to have a sequel. And that's a very interesting thing. There's a very big reason why there's no WoW 2 and why there is no, um, you know, uh, you know, stuff like EVE Online 2 uh, or indeed any other MMO where there's no sequel to it, like ESO 2 or whatever. It's a very risky thing to do. Like you're dealing with 10 years of sunk cost fallacy, 10 years of content that you're basically going to say, yep, we're going to move on from that and go on to something new directly after that. Definitely a very interesting decision to make. If, if you want my honest opinion, guys, and here's the big opinion alarm. To me, this is this reeks a little bit of, of corporate, okay? This is, uh, to me, not something I would have expected ArenaNet to do. Because at the end of the day, Guild Wars 2 is good. Guild Wars 2 is profitable. Guild Wars 2 is a game that actually has a very well-defined niche in its market. Like, it's, it's a good game. It's a good game, and potentially semi-throwing that away is a huge risk. From the player perspective, I think it's incredibly exciting, actually. Uh, because new game, we're gamers. We like new things, new ideas, polished concepts. Probably going to look a lot prettier. Might be more content if Unreal uh, Engine is easier to make stuff for. Uh, better performance, better everything, right? It's a little bit risky because, of course, maybe Guild Wars 3 sucks and it's not very good and Guild Wars 2 is still better. It's a tough act to follow. It really is. It's got really good combat, good systems, good progression, all that kind of stuff, right? So it's very, very risky, but certainly exciting. I would be a bit worried from Anet's perspective because, of course, this is going to be a huge investment and it can backfire really horribly. I would actually say something like um, uh, RuneScape, right? With RuneScape 3, people didn't really like it, right? And it didn't really work out so hot. And that's why old school RuneScape is doing really, really well. And RuneScape 3, significantly less so. However, both of those games are still going. And I actually do want to address this right now. Does this mean that Guild Wars 2 is dead? Absolutely not. Bear in mind, Arena is still running Guild Wars 1. They're not really in active development, but the game is at least running. And I think there's a lot of different ways that ArenaNet could go about this when it comes to Guild Wars 2. But I think it's absolutely entirely possible that the development model that we have right now, basically the Soto model, is actually planned to continue indefinitely alongside the development. Uh, of Guild Wars 3. Because bear in mind, we know ArenaNet have been working on projects for ages. We know they've been working on stuff. Hell, 
even back before this stuff, right? Back in the day, you know, when Ice Brood Saga, when the apocalypse was happening, when the tunnel was happening, right? Arena have not been purely working on Guild Wars 2 for ages. It's entirely possible that they are actually going to be attempting to continue Guild Wars 2 as it is, and then also have Guild Wars 3 alongside. Of course, that is splitting development resources, and I imagine Guild Wars 3 would become a greater priority, especially on the launch of the game, especially if the game does well. Uh, at the same time, but I wouldn't say that this is actually the death or the doom of Guild Wars 2 by any stretch of the imagination, because, and I, I think that could be really interesting too, because what it means is, is that Guild Wars 2 has its niche, right, it has a player base that loves it, and it's profitable, and it, it works. This could mean that they're going to make Guild Wars 3 very different. They're really going to distinguish it between the two and then run both of them. And funnily enough, that wouldn't be unprecedented in the market, actually. Take a look at what Blizzard's doing with World of Warcraft, right? Blizzard is doing really crazy stuff right now. If you pay for a WoW sub, you get World of Warcraft Retail, the most modern version of the game. You're getting Classic, which is the expansion that's moving through. It's Wrath of the Lich King now, soon to be Cataclysm. Um, there. You also get classic which is original vanilla wow um which again whatever spin they're doing on that with season of discovery or whatever some crazy stuff there and they're even adding weird mini games like plunderstorm which is basically a world of warcraft engine battle royale so blizzard is kind of already doing this and it's working really well by the way uh running these games that have different audiences in parallel they're all wow right they're all different versions of warcraft but they're all serving different audiences the audience for classic is not necessarily the same people who want to play retail. They serve different things. They have different mechanics, different styles of gameplay, and different players play them. Uh, and that could very much be the case that ArenaNet will be attempting to do this. There's also a really interesting thing in this interview uh, where they talk about how, look at this, okay? Originally, NC had six studios in the United States and work was done to organize the six and integrate them into one ArenaNet, which is pretty interesting there. So like ArenaNet is taking over uh, all of the NCSoft operations uh, in the US as well. So, ah, ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, to be clear, you shouldn't get overhyped about this because games take a very, very long time to take, uh, to make rather, take a very long time to make. So I wouldn't expect to see Guild Wars 3 before five years, realistically. Uh, maybe you'll hear some more information down the line talking about the game a little bit that's possible but it ain't done yet it's not even close so don't get overhyped and that actually is something that i think is going to be a major frustration if i was Ana, i would be pissed right now i would be really annoyed because this is a huge headache from a marketing from a pr and just from a development standpoint because now they've got a game that they didn't want to announce um, that it basically is competing and throwing their current product, their current big winner, into doubt. Guild Wars 2, right? Wait, what's going on? What's going to happen to Guild Wars 2? Is it going to keep going? Is the game dead? Um, well, I don't want to spend money on a game that's got no future, right? Blah, 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 blah. Very annoying. This almost certainly is going to force the hand of NC and ArenaNet. They're going to have to say something. They're going to have to actually say something. Which, if you ask me, kind of a win for us as the players, I guess. But really annoying for ArenaNet. Uh, and potentially somewhat damaging to the game. Like, uh, I'm not saying this is a definite thing. But I could imagine that this could potentially hurt sales and player engagement within Guild Wars 2. Because people... We, we know how people are with MMOs. They want to play the next game. They want to play the most relevant game, the most current game. That's human nature, right? People want to do that. So big pain in the ass for ArenaNet, if you ask me. Uh, but could potentially work out for us in the end as we get some more information. Because there's going to be big questions right now. There's going to be, like, how is it going to work? Is it going to be a kind of a remaster thing? Uh, is our progress going to carry over? How much of our progress is going to carry over? What's the goal of the game? What does the combat look like? Is it going to be like Guild Wars 2? Is it going to be totally different? I don't know. Like, how does it connect? Do you keep your microtransactions? I have no idea. We don't know. Um, any of these things. Like, it, there's a, a lot of questions here that I think is going to be rustling players and potentially causing some uncertainty and doubt with regards to the current, you know, thing that's basically funding the development of Guild Wars 3. Uh, and, yeah, it's going to have to happen, guys. Okay? it's Yeah, is it going to be free-to-play? Is it going to be... I mean, it's almost certainly going to be a kind of a, a similar business model. That's one of the things that Guild Wars 2 stands out for, I think. I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be worried about a sub-fee. That's, uh, that's definitely not happening. Okay, that, I mean, well, then again, you know, who knows? Who knows? But uh, I very much doubt that. So, nobody panic... Uh, regarding that, my friends, nobody panic about that one, but we shall see. Guild Wars 3, my friends, Guild Wars 3 
is indeed on its way. I'm not really sure if I have that much else to say about this, because at the end of the day, we really don't know that much. This is actually uh, something that you almost don't believe is real. It's something that is almost a hilarious joke. You know, if it was, I was checking the day. I was like, wait, what? Am, what what's going on here? Okay, what's happening here? But yes, sometimes you just leak it in a shareholder meeting, guys. You know, you, you absolutely love to see that, you know, like the, uh, the big energy is uh is there you know some classic guild <laughs> some classic guilds to uh guilds to mark thing right there but anyway i think that's basically what i've got to say yeah buy guild wars 2 now with my referral link guys get ready for guild wars 2 hall of monuments get ready to pre-order guild wars 3 using my referral link yo let's go i am ready <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's fun. Yeah, and look, I was not I was very convinced this wouldn't happen. I can touch on this a little bit as we kind of get to the end of this segment. I did not expect Guild Wars 3 to happen for some of the reasons that I talked about, right? It's incredibly risky. Um potentially might not be a really big payoff. And Guild Wars 2 is already good. It is already a good video game. Um I do think there are some advantages though, like brand new game is always exciting. Um, it kind of gives Guild Wars 2 that relaunch. It's kind of always needed. Like, one of the issues that Guild Wars 2 has, and th this was actually a really interesting interview um, uh, from uh, the PoE devs as well. The PoE devs have talked about how a relaunch can be really important because a lot of the issues that maybe made a player quit early on in their game was fixed, but they don't know about that. That's kind of a motivation for doing stuff like Path of Exile 2, relaunching the game, hitting people with a new product here. And I think Guild Wars 2 can benefit from that. Like, still, you will see stuff like... Guild Wars 2 has no end game. Guild Wars 2 has no content. Guild Wars 2 is like a casual dress-up game, which is true, but that's all MMOs. But you know what I mean, right? Like, people don't know what the game has to offer. And that is where a big relaunch can be useful. Uh, but it is also a colossal risk uh, to take this. Because, again, it might not even happen, right? Games get cancelled. Just look no further than the Riot MMO. This is Riot, one of the biggest games companies um, in the world. They went back to the drawing board on their MMO and scrapped all of it, right? That was very recently actually talked about in a Twitter thread. Cool transparency, actually. But, yeah, it ain't a done deal. It's very risky. It's very scary um, to, to make a game like this of this particular scope, especially in MMO. MMOs are massive, they are expensive, they are huge, and yeah, it's very hard to compete because you've got to have a game that has enough content to attract players from other MMOs, um, from your previous MMO as well. It is very, very spooky. And, you know, I guess we can talk about this as kind of like the final topic. One thing that um, has been speculated about a little bit is, is it going to be like a Guild Wars 2.5? Is it just going to be a remaster, new engine, kind of relaunch of the game? I mean, ugh. I think that would actually be the least exciting prospect for us as players. I, I feel like Anet wouldn't do that, to be honest. Like, if if they're going to do Guild Wars 3, I don't know. I, I think they are going to be more likely to try and make something new as opposed to just like a rehash of the current game. Like, it would have the advantage of keeping everyone's progress, but I feel like it would potentially be a lot less exciting um, and a, a, a lot less impactful. Just like a very expensive investment for maybe... Not the craziest gain. Again, we don't know yet. Like, who knows? You know, this, this is pure speculation at this stage. That's kind of where we're at. Um, but we'll see. Uh, there's definitely some potential with the Unreal Engine, of course. That makes it potentially very easy for them to make a console version, which, you know, I think that's something that works out really well for Final Fantasy. So that's also something that we can get in there as well. Um, pretty decent uh, speculation about the stuff there as well. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, to see ArenaNet try something quite novel with carrying over progress in some way. We saw them attempt this with Guild Wars 1 in the Hall of Monuments where you could earn titles in Guild Wars 2 in Guild Wars 1. Definitely wouldn't be surprised to see them try to iterate and develop on that. Are you going to keep your legendaries? Realistically, I think there's almost no chance of that happening. You cannot release a new product where everyone's already done the progression. That just doesn't make any sense, right? That would be unhinged, to be honest. And uh, yeah, would, would be weird. New players are going to join and go, wait, these guys have already got full legendary? What the hell is going on there? And of course, when you're launching a new game, you want people who haven't played to play it. You, want, you don't want to just port your audience, right? You want to grow your audience. You don't want to say, oh yeah, look, Guild Wars 2 players, come and play Guild Wars 3. No, you want, look, WoW players, Final Fantasy, yo, let's go. That's what you want to do, um, which is another thing entirely, of course. You know, so it, 
they, they're gonna they can do skins maybe they can do a couple of skins they can do some titles maybe they could do microtransactions so some of the money you've invested kind of carries over because that will be a big thing by the way there are people who have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on on this game and is it rational to go oh you know i don't want to leave because i've spent money actually no i think i'm actually going to mirror what wooden potato said in his video covering this topic you know um with us i think he's completely correct about this um the sunk cost fallacy is a fallacy it doesn't make any sense you can't just be stuck in the mud forever it you, no like moving forwards new ideas new games this should always be incredibly exciting as a player so now that we're on the guild wars 3 train i will i will definitely say that as well yeah absolutely like just because you've played this game for 10 years doesn't mean that the next game isn't going to be better, right? Like, the game was probably still going to be here anyway, right? I think that it, they probably won't get rid of Guild Wars 2, but I think that moving on is important, especially if the game's good. If the game sucks, well, hey, worst case scenario is back to Guild Wars 2 for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, but if the game's good, then yeah, I mean, it's pretty hype, right? It's pretty hype stuff. Uh, <laughs> beta on Monday? Man, that would be the ultimate twist of events if they did that. They just dropped the Guild Wars 3 beta on April 1st. That would be... <laughs> That would be uh, very funny, but I don't think so. But anyway, I think that's all about I've got to say for now on this. I'm sure there's going to be a very heated discussion uh, going on all over the internet. So make sure that you leave your thoughts here. And definitely come and watch the stream, okay? Don't worry. This is all we're going to be talking about for the next month. So uh, don't worry. You won't miss out. Watch the stream on YouTube. Watch the stream on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow on Twitch. Uh, hand over all your money as well and get ready for those referral links. <laughs> you love to see it. And definitely check out this article as well. There's a couple of articles here. I am shamelessly reading the massively overpowered one. You should read it too. It will be linked down below. But of course, let me know your thoughts. Like, follow, subscribe, leave comments. And well, I'll definitely see you next time on this one because uh, yeah, stay tuned. There's probably going to be a lot more info on this coming out relatively soon or at least some kind of statements here as well. Guild Wars Tree and D. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>